Hello, I'm sending this message from Madrid, right from the city center of Madrid in Spain, and I want to share with you some of the experiences we are living under this health emergency we are suffering. Uh, the first is to share with you that we are living in a terrible situation, not only because the number of infected people and dead people are increasing every day very quickly, but also because we are arriving in a moment where the collapsing of the health system could happen, at least in Madrid, which is the region where the infection is more serious than in other parts of the country. There is two characteristics I think the uh, ha Spain have different from other countries. The first one is that the uh, terrible austerity measure imposed in my country in the crisis of 2008 has the result today. And the result is that we have a weaker health system than we have before the crisis. So it's a demonstration for the whole population that the austerity measures were really terrible and really bad for the total population. And the second one is that, as you may know, that we have, uh, let's say, a progressive government in which the more progressive part which is my political party, United Left or Podemos, are pushing all the time trying to get more social measures in order to protect the working class and the popular classes in this terrible emergency we are living. The only positive thing we are living is the population reaction to this isolation measure is absolutely wonderful and also the epic answer of the working class, especially the public servants that are helping all the time to the population in order to have a good exit of this terrible crisis we are facing. Now we are going to debate about the reconstruction of the country. This is going to be another debate, but it is clear that we don't want to repeat the same mistake that we made uh, during the last economic crisis in 2008. So we are going to push and fight and we hope that we can do it together with all the left and progressive forces in Europe in order to get a social answer to this terrible economic and health crisis we are living. So I send you a huge and warm hug and solidarity forever. <laughs>